doing? Chris Hammond from Avid at Summer Nam in the Hal Leonard booth. A couple of announcements in, uh, from end of June. So we just announced and released Pro Tools 12.8, both for Pro Tools HD and non-HD customers. Uh, big release for the HD guys because it integrates all the Dolby Atmos workflows. So people that are working in the film industry, um, the post industry, and even in the broadcast space, uh, pretty major release for them on the, uh, the HD side. Um, part two of the 12.8 release is we also did a massive release of Pro Tools first. And while Pro Tools First is a free application uh, for you channel partners, you can take advantage of it because you can give it to your customers. But um, what it does is it allows you to sell all the peripheral products around it. So microphones, headphones, speakers, pretty much anything that you would need with a computer-based workstation, you can add on and attach to Pro Tools. So along with the 12.8 first release, we um, added Pro Tools Cloud Collaboration. So anybody that is using Pro Tools 12.8 or, or later, um, you can collaborate with them. Another feature in there is uh, Track Freeze. It's a new feature from Pro Tools 12.6 uh, 12 that came into 12.8 on first. So a lot of great things in there. Um, it opens up the artist community. There's chat windows. So you really feel like you're part of the Pro Tools community um, with a free version as well. That, on the video side, we released Media Composer first, which as you might imagine is a free version of Media Composer. Uh, downloadable on the avid.com website and again, uh, for the channel partners that are selling those peripherals like GoPro cameras or storage or any type of video based uh, peripheral, you can attach those to those uh, freebies as well. So it just allows for a lot of different alternatives for accessorizing. With Pro Tools first, we have just released a new rev that matches all of the current versions of paid Pro Tools. So your monthly, your annual subscriptions, your perpetual license are all 12.8. So 12.8 first, 12.8 Pro Tools, and 12.8 Pro Tools HD. They're all the same version. So this is live from NAMM 2017 in Nashville. This is the first time we're publicly showing the Element series. I have just one of the suite here, which is called the Element 24. We also have the Element 46 and Element 88, which are basically all new Thunderbolt audio interfaces from Apogee with um, optical in and out. And they have a lot of our hallmark technologies built in. We have, in this case, two 75 dB step gain architecture mic preamps, which are derived from our larger Apogee Ensemble, which I don't actually have here to show you, but the Apogee Ensemble is another one of our kind of flagship audio interfaces. And what we decided to do is take a little bit of that circuitry and repackage it. So this is two by four. We have a four by six, an eight by eight. And if you notice, it's kind of revolutionary. There's not a knob on here. There's not even a power switch. But why we did that is once you plug it into Thunderbolt and attach it to a computer, that's all you need. Everything is controlled either from the actual element control software, which we have a remote control hardware unit as well, or your phone, your iPad, or your Mac. Having everything in software is great because we don't have to worry about anything going obsolete. We don't have to worry about routing something to a front panel control. It's really got a whole new generation of audio interfaces. We have ultra low latency of about 1.1 millisecond round trip in Logic. These are kind of designed best to, to work with Logic. Uh, the control software is very, very tightly integrated into Logic where you can actually have floating panes and windows that actually kind of move around when you're accessing the DAW. So you can control all those parameters from here as well, and then they're stored. So really, this is kind of like a whole new generation, not only of interfaces, but it's a whole new paradigm of how we access them. And just like the iPhone changed everything about telecommunications, what we can expect from our phones, I think this is going to change what we kind of expect from an interface and how we can react to it in different you know, our different kind of worlds. And it's really fun to be able to s sit back and control a unit remotely and not have to worry about, you know, what's on the front panel. And it's built like a tank. I mean, honestly, we can drive a truck over this unit and it still works. We did it in the parking lot. And we still also have all of our iOS connected products here at the show. Jam is now for Mac, Windows, and iOS. We have one for the iPad. We also have one for the Mac, which is 249, and also the mic. So we have basically everything that you would ever need to make music with the best possible tools 
professional audio specs from $99 to the thousands, the one thing that we never compromise on at Apogee is audio quality or design. Everything that we have here is designed in the same building by the same people, and everything that we see here is manufactured in California. Hey guys, I'm Rick Nockvi with Presonus, and uh, we're here at the Summer NAMM Show in Nashville. I wanted to tell you about a really cool thing that we're doing with regards to Studio One and selling upgrades through the dealer channel. So, you know, most of you that are watching have sold tons and tons of our audio interfaces and mixers over the years, and everybody that buys one of those gets Studio One Artist, which is our bundled software. Well, you know, we've always made uh, the ability for a dealer to sell an upgrade, um, and from Studio One Artist to Studio One Pro, the price of that upgrade was $300. Well, you know, after talking to a lot of dealers, we realized that, you know, when you sell a guy a $99 interface, the chances of getting him to spend another $300 for uh, a software upgrade is probably not that great. So we created something new, and it's called the Studio One Artist Booster Pack. And what it is, is it's a $99 software upgrade. So after, you know, a guy has been using one of our interfaces or mixers, he has Studio One Artist, you, the dealer, can sell him the Artist Booster Pack for 99 bucks. And what that is, is it's basically a compilation of some of the, the, the main features that they want. For example, it gives you VST support. It gives you the ability to encode MP3s. It gives you um, a lot more content, you know, drum loops, uh, you know, guitar amp simulators, all this stuff. So it's basically, you know, about five different add-ons that equal up to $179 worth of map uh, value for 99 bucks. I'd like to show you some of the new stuff that we have going for the show. So the first thing we're going to show is the brand new Studio Live 1602 USB. So this is now an updated version of one of the most popular mixers that Personas has ever made the 1602. So what we've done now is we've upgraded the A to D converter so it's got you know a step up A to D converter and then the second thing that we've done is we've updated it with USB. So now you can connect to your computer with the USB jack and you can record all 16 channels plus the stereo bus, so it's 18 simultaneous channels going to your computer. You also have 18 simultaneous returns coming back for the from the computer. It's bundled with Studio One Artist. It has a map price of $10.99. It's shipping next month. The next thing that we're showing are the new Studio Live Series 3 consoles. And this is a completely updated version of our flagship digital consoles. They've got a lot of great features, you know, of course, moving faders, recallable mic preamps. One of the coolest features that the new consoles have that no other digital console in this price range have is the ability to multi-track record the show straight to an SD card. So all I have to do is pop in an SD card, hit record, and I'm recording broadcast wave files from every input straight to the SD card. Now. Watch this. When I get home, I take that SD card out, pop it in my computer. It also has created, created a capture file, meaning I can open that up in Studio One. And it's also taken a snapshot of the mixer. So all of my EQ and compressor settings show up in Studio One. So I'm ready to basically do a mix down of the show and I already have a head start with all of my EQ and compressor settings on. So it's a very cool thing. It's available now. And we just started shipping the 24 channel version of the new Series 3. So now we have the 16, the 24, and the 32 all shipping. So here's one more thing on the new mixers that's really cool. And that is we've now announced complete support for Android. So in the past, all of our mobile apps have been on iOS. Now all of our mobile apps, including QMix, for iPhone is now available for your Android phone, and UC Surface, which only was available on iPad, is now available for Android. And this applies to not just the brand new mixers, but also to the AI and the RML mixers as well. So it's really cool. It's a free download on the Google Play Store as well as on the Apple iTunes Store. So uh, check it out. One thing that we actually did on this new platform is we cr created digitally modeled versions of vintage analog equipment. So for example, 
on the compressor. You've got the standard Studio Live compressor, which is going to be fully featured, very, very transparent and fast. But you also have the ability to use a tube style LA2A compressor on any channel you want or an 1176 style FET based compressor. Now same thing for the EQ, you've got the fully parametric four band Studio Live EQ on every channel. But let's say I want some different flavor, I can have a passive tube style EQ. This is based off of a Pultec and also a Neve 1073. And the beautiful part is, is I can have this on every single input. So if I like the Neve EQ on my guitars, I might like the Pultec on my bass, you can have this. And when you record to the SD card, you get your tracks, you open them up in Studio One, we have a native plug-in version of this fat channel that'll show up in Studio One. So all of your settings get recalled into the DAW as well. So it's a complete integration between the SD card recording and what you would do on your mix down with Studio One. The next thing we're showing at Summer NAM is the new Quantum Thunderbolt recording system. So the Quantum is a 26 input recording device. It's got eight analog inputs, 16 channels of ADAT, two channels of SPDIF. But here's what's really awesome about the Quantum. Okay, first of all, Thunderbolt is extremely fast, extremely low latency. We're getting, you know, right around about a millisecond of latency round trip uh, in a lot of the tests that we're doing both on Mac and PC. But that's the other really cool thing about Quantum is that we have custom drivers not only on the Mac but on the PC. So typically, you know, in a lot of this, many Thunderbolt interfaces work really good on the Mac and not so good on the PC. We made a huge effort to make sure that it works equally as great on both platforms. Now, what's really cool about the Quantum past that is that you've got two Thunderbolt jacks, meaning we can actually cluster and I can stack multiple Quantums together so it's totally expandable. So the basic Quantum is 26 inputs, but I can put four of these together, okay? So it's a ton of I.O. Four of these will do 32 channels at 192K, 64 channels at 96K, and 96 inputs at 44 or 48K. So it's just a crazy, crazy amount of I.O. and very, very flexible, very, very expandable, great on the Mac and the PC, ships with Studio One as well. The best part about it, it's got a map price of $9.99, so it's, it's very affordable for a high-end system.